Hey everybody, Tony Lee from Network Optics here. Uh, today I'm going to tell you guys about generic events, uh, API, and I'm going to show you guys a practical example of how to integrate uh, third-party analytics uh, using the HTTP generic event API. Um, and I'm just going to kind of walk you through it. Um, so, um, first thing I'm going to do is show you the camera that we have set up with analytics on it right now. Uh, you can see it running over here on the side. Um, this is a VCA camera from VCA Technology. Um, they make um, cameras with in-camera in analytics. And something special about these cameras as well, they have an HTTP event engine, so they can send HTTP requests as an action when their camera uh, has detected an event. So in order to do that, um, let me just show you the company real fast. This is VCA technology. We're using a VCA 302 right now to give this demonstration. Um, I'm an Internet Explorer right now, right? They do have a limitation that runs in Internet Explorer, but they're fixing that because they're moving away from ActiveX technology. Um, but if I go to this camera's uh, IP address, I can show you how I've set it up. Um, so let's copy that link lo location and let's replace this. So now I'm into the setup for the camera. Um, I'm going to go to the setup page. Uh, under VCA, I've set up a, uh, an event under zones and rules. Basically, I drew a zone. And I said, and I calibrated the camera, and I said, if you detect a person in this zone uh, for more than five seconds, um, you can see here dwells for more than five seconds, then I want to I want to create an alarm, right? VCA is really cool because they they actually burn in the analytics um, directly into the camera itself, so it's really easy to integrate them and also get a good visual for what's going on out there. Um, for example, if I want to change this zone to blue, I can change it to blue. So I kind of like their stuff because you can really uh, customize exactly what the area of the zone is going to be, how it looks on your screen and everything. So I've, I've set up that uh, event. If anybody dwells outside my door for five seconds, I get a notification, right? Um, underneath their event configuration, you add HTTP, or sorry, you go to the HTTP notification section. And here you can see I've added a rule. And that's the, or I've added an HTTP notification. If I go to the notification itself, you can see that I've set it up, um, I've given it a name. That's just for me to remember what it is when I look at this so I can set up multiple events in this camera. Um, I can look at, I have a description just again for me. Now the address is very important. Basically, this is where, where this HTTP notification is being pushed to, where it's being aimed at, right? So in, in our case, it's gonna be uh, one of the NX Witness servers. In my system, I've got four servers. I've got uh, one, two NX2s, I've got, uh, sorry, two NX1s, I've got one NX2, and I've got this tower uh, machine, which is a, actually just a Dell desktop machine that I'm running this client and this recording on. So that's dot .205, and that's the machine that I want to push this notification to. So I've aimed this notification to that, I put it on port 7001, which is great because that's what all of NX Witness works on, unless you go in and modify it. So if you haven't modified it, port 7001. Uh, under account, I want to put the login um, for the admin and the password for the uh, admin for the NX Witness system um, so that I can authenticate with the server when I'm sending this command. Um, and then under message is where I want to put the API call. Now, how do you build an API call? Um, if you go to your NX Witness system and you open up your web client um, and you go to you can log in and you go to the for developer section and you click on the API documentation, um, you're gonna see a bunch of API calls. Now, if you search for create event, right, then you're gonna to get to the method that we're gonna be using today, which is our API for the generic events. So using this method, basically, you can send generic events to NX Witness from any third party system. Sometimes they're in camera and they have their own HTTP engine. They can just create these strings out of, um, out of the interface. Sometimes you have to have a coder create a little bit of middleware that sits between a system that doesn't have HTTP um, capabilities. Um, but developers will understand this. Uh, so if you work with a developer or you have a guy on your team who develops, then you can point them at this and it should be pretty clear. Um, there are parameters when you build a string um, where you can put in timestamps. Um, the source is the device or the system name that's connecting or sending us that information so we can identify it. Um, caption is a short event. Um, description is like a long event description. Um, you can use it. If, once we get these descriptions and captions and everything, we can use that to create 
uh, specific events inside of NX Witness and specific actions um, by using search tools, which I'll show you in a second. And then there's metadata um, and also the state. Um, state is like if you want to keep this event active until the, the state has modified back to inactive, you can do that as well. So, um, so basically, if you click here and you go to try method, then you're going to be shown kind of the beginning of a string. And what that is is okay. So if I create do a create event, um, and then I put a question mark and I put source equals Tony's. Oops, sorry. Tony browser. Right. And I try that, then I don't get anything to happen because I did it wrong. <laughs> so the, the way to do it though, whoop, API create event, pull it back up. So point at the right IP address, create event, let me open up my notepad and pull up the long version of it. Source equals ba, caption equals ba. Okay, so I've gone in and set up my system to ignore any um, any sources that aren't equal to VCA camera, which is the string that I'm setting up right now for this camera. So when I look at this uh, string, we can see how I built it here. So basically, let's paste it. This is the beginning of the API call. API equals create event question mark. Source is again the name of the system of the device. Caption is a description, right? So in between the source and the caption, we add an and sign, so we keep the string going. Caption equals zone. Um, these these percentage mark twenties is a spacing um, for this encoding from this device. Um, violation and Zone violation is the caption. Description is somebody is in the zone. Okay, so if everything works properly and the demo gods are smiling upon me, then when I close this out, then what you're going to see is when I walk outside my office, um, when I'm about to open that door and I stand in that yellow zone, we're going to get an event over here that says um, source or says uh, there's a zone violation. So let's take a look at that, right? So there you go, you can see I've got zone violation came in here, right? So if I go to the log, you can see I've got some zone violations here. Now, one of the things that I did was I created a rule, um, which is that if there's a generic event um, and it has the word VCA camera in it, then I want to create a bookmark called uh, for the VCA camera with a fixed duration of five seconds with pre-recording of five seconds and I'm gonna add that the um, tags office door person, right? So I've already set up this rule. So if that device detects uh, a zone violation, it will send us a generic event and then I'll take that generic event and turn it into a bookmark for this camera, right? So if you look down here, then there was a, there were two bookmarks that were created because uh, I stood there for too long apparently. So when I go press play, then it will pull up that particular zone violation that I just had, right? So again, that's generic event. It's a really cool, uh, really powerful way to um, integrate third-party systems into NX Witness and use those integrations to create event rules, bookmark video, um, move PTZ cameras, do anything you can do with our events and rules engine. Thanks, guys.